Hi, here is a demo on testing the TMC0960 motion pipe board with PD1270 smart drive stepper motor. Uh, this is uh, a TMCL ID. I have version 3.3 .3 of it. Uh, and over the devices tab, we don't see any connected. So for that, uh, we'll have to attach the motion pipe board uh, to the PC. And as soon as I attach, I see the TriPi HD pop up. And this is the root directory of our motion pi board. Uh, over here in the Pi Dynamic Micro Platforms Motion Pi 1 Examples and TMCL Bridge. Uh, we have the TMCL Bridge USB CAN, which is rightly for us. Uh, because uh, if we look at the board over here, uh, we have attached the you know the stepper motor to the motion pi board via CAN bus. And the motion pipe board is connected to our PC. So in fact, the uh, motion pipe board acts as a bridge between our PC and the stepper motor working via the CAN interface. So uh, we, now we will have to run this script over motion pipe board. For that matter, I'm going into a serial terminal and opening the COM port to which the motion pipe board is attached. Just make sure by looking into the device manager um, that on which port the motion pipe board is attached. Here in my case it's COM1 and I'm now opening it. This should rightly show us the initializations being done and also the version of MicroPython and the microcontroller used. So uh, at this point we'll have to put, the, put a script in. Uh, this is not supposed to be this an error. So I, I have the path of the board copied over here. It's execute open pi terminal micro platforms motion pi and so on and so forth. This is the path of uh, path where the TMCL bridge USB can uh, Python script is present, and this has to be called up over the serial terminal. So now uh, upon pressing enter. I have successfully invoked the script on the MicroPython and this is running. So now we have it up and should close this serial, uh, yeah, serial command terminal. Otherwise, we will not be able to invoke it on the other side via the, uh, via the dynamic TMCL ID. So let's now power on the we, we can connect but before that we'll have to power on the um the stepper motor with the two, i'm using 12 volt power supply and i have powered it on now it's a small humming noise okay so now uh, i'm pressing on connect and this should you know bring all the Peripherals is attached over the CAN bus up. So here we can see at ID1 we have the TMCM1270 stepper motor and over ID3 it's the motion pi board. These IDs are default and uh, as we are not using motion pi board for any other specific purpose uh, rather than bridging it uh, between the motor and PC, let's close that and yeah, let me close that and expanding over the motor tab yeah we, we do have the motor initialized and going to the velocity graph so this shows the velocity plot of the motor and in the velocity mode over here we get this nice GUI of controlling the speed and acceleration of the motor by using nice knobs so I'm slowly turning this up and let's see the response of the motor. So upon increasing this, I'll have to press the run here and this starts the motor. So we can see it increasing slowly and slowly and I'm increasing it further, still further and there the motor started to run slowly. This is lively visualized over these plots. Increasing still further. We 
is a really nice visualization. So all, all things are lively plotted. So let me go to the position graph. We have both the plots here and also these cool step, stall guard, chopper settings, all many fancy things can be visualized over here. This is just a super cool tool uh, with a small add-on to the hardware. We can do so many cool stuff in this software.